I think there was a, a picture in your book of a, perhaps a bird that got intermixed with the crops uh, as they were being formed in one of the crop circles. Oh, oh yes, that was, that was rather, rather strange. Um, animals are affected, but this one was, um, yes, it was again, it, this was in Surrey, again, not too far from where I lived and a friend of mine, a researcher called Christopher Weeks with whom I've worked for years and years and years. He, this must be almost tw uh, 20 years ago. Um, he rang through one evening to say he'd found a circle in a field close to where he lived. And I said, well, I think it's a bit too late to, to come tonight. But I said, listen, I'll come over straight away tomorrow. And he said, there's something very strange about this circle. He said, there's, there's sort of this uh, little bits of, of, of flesh around. And she said, uh, very strange. So I thought, oh. And so we went and we examined it very closely. And we could see little tiny bits of flesh on the um, surface. And then we looked underneath and there was, in just one particular part, there were evidence of, of blood and flesh underneath. Uh, it was a, a double ringer, which means that there were two rings. On the outer ring, there'd been a, a kill of a, of a pigeon, and it was quite obvious. There was feathers and there were bones and all that sort of thing. Okay. But this was completely, completely disintegrated, whatever it was. So Christopher took um, uh, examples of it and sent it down to a biochemist down in, in Cornwall, I think it was. Mm. And the report came back to say that they thought it had been a bird which had been completely exploded. Oh, goodness. And so this intrigued me no end. So I kept on going into that field. And then one time, what did I find but uh, empty cartridges? Now, this told me exactly what had happened because the scientist went on to say that he thought the bird was dead when it exploded. So I believe what had happened, there were people out pigeon shooting, okay. probably quite legally. They'd shot this pigeon and they hadn't found it. So it was lying in the field and it just happened to lie in the exact spot where the crop circle appeared and it just demonstrates the force for it to have completely exploded this dead bird. <laughs> what so I would, you know, people, people want to go and experience it when, when this force happens. I don't want to be anywhere near, I can jolly well tell you. Um, and there were a couple called, um, well, I don't, I'm not going to reveal their name because they, they were very worried that they'd get publicity. And one formed around them. Oh, my. And the girl was totally buffeted. And um, completely buffeted. And she had terrible earache afterward. And she went to a doctor and both her eardrums had been perforated. And that was a minor event. And the man had, I wrote it up in my first book, the man had all I will tell you, and you will have to work it out for yourself, an uplifting experience which lasted for 48 hours. The other, the other person had yeah, a good experience? Okay. had an uplifting experience which, which lasted for 48 hours, and you will have to work that out yourself. Huh, how about that? <laughs> well, I can tell you that when... <laughs> Quite a lot of men went into the crop circles after that. 